Hi everybody, Kat here. So today we're going to be talking about the Pelcas. This was actually sent to me from Pelcas to try, test, and to do an open box. If you want to know more, stay tuned. So let's go from this to this with the Pelcas today. So doing a little bit of a voiceover, this is the actual box that I received. It's a beauty airbrush system. It is from Palkis, and they did send it to me to test and try and to do an open box. So it's an HB06. It's a multifunction spray. So I'm just kind of going through the box, opening it up to show you what's inside. It is housed very nicely. Everything has this little spot so that nothing is really moving around in the system. You've got the unit that is actually additionally wrapped to protect it. And then you've got all these little things in here which we're gonna be going over in just a moment. So I'm gonna see there's different cup sizes. The unit itself is pretty, it's black and it's sparkly. So that's attractive. You've got your lover, your actual part where you're gonna be putting one of the wells, your power on and off button. So simple in design, easy. And that, I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but we'll come back. All right, so that's one of your cups. So it looks like you've got a couple interchangeable cups right here to pick from, depending on what you want to use it for. So looking at the cup design, you can see it's nice. It's got a lid on it. You've got one that's open as well. But one thing I want you to notice is the design at the bottom. You see right here at the top of this unit, you've got two open slots. And so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to be putting your well or your cup right in there. You're gonna align it up, put it right there into the center, and then you're gonna secure it by twisting it. Now, if you're having a hard time twisting it, I finally figured out what the other piece was for, but I'm gonna show you in a second, but I want you to look at the spray. So that's just water, and I've got water just coming out. Hopefully you can see it, it's a nice fine mist. But going back to the cup, if you're trying to secure it, this little gadget right here will help you actually twist and secure it into place. Yeah, I really didn't know what that was at first, and I had to go through the literature to actually understand what it was for. But once I read through the literature, I found out exactly what it was for. Some people have a hard time actually twisting that into place. That will actually help you twist it into place and make it secure. These are actually cleaning tools that you're going to need for the maintenance of this particular unit, how to clean it, and your instruction video guides right here on a QR code for you, making it super easy to follow. The top of the unit actually twists and it pops off. So when you're doing your deep cleaning, this is what you're going to do. The video will actually show you how to align it back up. It's pretty simple, very easy to do, not hard at all. And of course, if you're following the video and you have the tools, it makes it super easy. So what were my final thoughts about the Pelkis unit? If you're using makeup that is very thin in liquidity, this is a great unit. So if you're using it for foundation, blush, contour, yes, super simple, super easy. But when you're moving towards things that are higher in pigmentation, like your shimmers or even your blacks, things that have higher content of minerals, this one is a little bit harder to use. And also too, this one to me is very simplistic. It's a simplistic unit basically for the consumer, for doing your blushes, your foundations, and things like that. Because, again, when you're using this particular unit, this piece right here, it's so square, right, that it's hard to gauge exactly where that is. So if I'm getting really close up and I'm trying to do, let's just say my eyeliner, for an example, you see when I'm putting it here to here, might not be as easy. Now, for me, I was able to achieve that look. Number one, I've got lever control. And number two, I was able to figure out exactly where that point was. But for a novice or for a person who's looking for a more simple airbrush to use, then that becomes a little bit harder. So even though it's a little bit harder, doesn't mean that you can't achieve the looks, but again, you gotta own that lever control. That's so super important when playing with this unit and doing your makeup. So creating a couple of looks with the cut creases and things like that, I was able to do 
But I will say there is a trick, and that is the lever control. Not easy to do. Again, just understanding where this point is here. But when you're trying to do cut creases and things like that, just not for a novice, not with this particular unit. But you can do it. It is possible. And so here are a couple of pictures that I've put together so that you can see when it comes to cleaning the unit, that is equally important. You want to make sure that you follow the video that Pelkis has provided. They've got two QR codes, so it links you straight to the video. It walks you through how to do it. But in order to always maintain and to make sure that you're getting a clean airbrush spray, then cleaning the unit and doing a deep clean is going to be required. So again, not hard. Video provided. You can follow it. Easy to do but make sure that you're following it exactly so that everything lines back up correctly. Thanks to Pelkis for sending me the unit to do the open box and to give you a little bit of information. I know it wasn't like full-blown detailed on the unit, but I've only used it for two and a half weeks, so I can't really get into it completely. But again, for first try, you know, if you're a novice and you want to do your blush, your foundation, and your contour, this is great for a novice. I hope this video proved to be helpful, and if so, don't forget to subscribe, give us thumbs up, let us know what else you'd like to see on the channel, because I do know that my channel goes all over the place, but as always, thanks for watching.